Another thing that we can look at at the very beginning of our introduction of Photoshop is something that's uh, called screen modes. And screen modes, as you can see, are directly related to these three icons that you'll find at the bottom of your toolbar. And as you can see here, if you just mouse over this one, um, it gives you the very standardized view, which is what we see here. These screen modes are, are what we can use to effectively work within our space and have them um, show us the modes that we want. Here we see the standard screen mode and notice that there's a little, a little um, letter next to it. In this case, it's the letter F. In all of your toolbars, you'll notice that it give you the name and it'll also give you a little shortcut that's associated with that particular tool. So if we wanna scroll through our screen modes, we'll be using the shortcut F. Nevertheless, we can click on these and notice here, screen mode with menu bar. And as you can see, it might be a little bit shy on this screen, but what it does is it'll go full screen on your um, computer and it'll allow you to work without the uh, menu mode. Then as you can see here, it's exactly the same, except the only difference is we have a black background. At this point, you still have your uh, toolbar, as you can see here, and you still have your other palettes there. While we're talking about this, I'll also show you a quick shortcut. If you press tab, tab will eliminate all your toolbars and everything else there. In a full screen mode like this, this makes it great for presentations and when you're showing things to your clients or otherwise, um, this is a wonderful way for you to work. So just by pressing tab allows you to do that. You'll notice, I'll press F again and go back to our regular screen mode, there are going to be times when you're going to find the toolbars and everything else that's located in here a little bit, um, they seem to take up too much real estate on your particular page. So if you're worried about that, you can always press tab and get rid of them and have much more room to work with. Or you can press shift tab and shift tab will only get rid of the palettes that you'll find on this side of your screen as opposed to your toolbar. So if you're still new to things and you're getting used to working with that toolbar and you still need to go over and choose your um, icons uh, visually, then just pressing shift tab will allow you to do that. Tab gets rid of everything else. So that's a little bit about screen modes and the tab or shift tab shortcuts.